Hi, my name is Rohit Sai Chetla. I am a product manager at Microsoft, working on building the next generation of agentic AI for enterprises. Over the past several months, our team has been working extremely hard to build a framework that would enable AI agents to work alongside us, handling routine tasks, surfacing insights, and to help us move projects forward faster than ever before. And today, we are really excited to introduce Agent 365. Agent 365 is the control plane for AI agents. It provides agents with the observability, access control, security, and threat protection. With this foundation, you can equip agents with the productivity tools to interact with users in the flow of work. And as a developer, you can build on any agent stack and host on any agent platform. To power this breakthrough functionality, we are launching new Microsoft MCP servers for Outlook, Word, SharePoint, and your other favorite everyday Microsoft business applications. Agent builders can now build their agents with these MCPs to tap into the capabilities of their favorite Microsoft products and expose these as a secure set of tools that your Agent 365 agents can instantly understand and use. I'll now pass it on to my teammate Tahir to show the Agent 365 SDK in action. Thanks, Rohit. Hello, everyone. I'm Tahir Soza, a Principal Software Engineering Manager here at Microsoft. Today, I'm going to show you how you can bring the power of the Microsoft ecosystem to your agents. I'll illustrate by enhancing a sample Langchain and Node.js agent using the Agent 365 SDK and Toolkit. The Agent 365 SDK is open source and available on GitHub in three languages as of today, Python, Node.js, and .NET. We also have an open source repository for Agent 365 samples. Today, I will be using the Langchain and Node.js sample on the repo. First of all, go to the M365 Agents Toolkit extension in VS Code that lets you load these samples in a one-click install. If you don't have this extension, you can also proceed by cloning or forking the repo. Now, let's go through the sample code. There are a few main files here. Agent.ts, Client.ts, are the code files. .env is where you store settings like secrets. And the tooling manifest file is where you store the config of what MCP servers you want the agent to connect to. This config gets picked up by the Agent 365 toolkit during agent deployment. In the agent.ts file, we are using the notifications module. This lets the agent listen for any agentic events, things like an email, a Teams message, or even an at mention in a Word document to the agent. A custom handler shows the agent how to handle the notification. Here you can see when the agent receives a notification, it gets a Langchain client and then invokes the agent with observability scope. In your notification listener, you can add a star like this if you want a single handler to handle all notifications, or you can follow the SDK code to add handlers for specific supported channels like Word, Excel, etc or even lifecycle notifications like agent user created or deleted. Now that we've seen the agent code, let's switch over to the client setup. In the client.ts file, this code gets a Langchain client. This code uses the tooling module of the SDK to add the MCP servers listed in the tooling manifest config to the Langchain orchestrator. It also assigns a model for use and creates a Langchain agent with this setup. The invoke agent with scope uses the observability module of the SDK so that whenever the agent is invoked, logs are emitted that can be observed in Sentinel, Purview, etc. During development, you can log these to console. Finally, the tooling manifest is a config file where you can add the list of Microsoft MCP servers that you want configured for your agent. Later, Nathan will show you how to list and add MCP servers to this manifest using the CLI toolkit. As an agent developer, there are three different stages of testing. If you haven't created your agent yet, you can use the M365 Agents Playground and run the agent with on-behalf-of authentication. 
of your own user account. Once you create the agent blueprint and agent user identities using the Agent 365 toolkit, you can use those identities for testing the agent. Finally, after deploying and publishing the agent, you can test it by directly sending the agent Teams messages, emails, or at mentioning them in Word documents like a regular user. So that's how you can enhance a quick start Langchain Node.js agent using the Agent 365 SDK, from notifications to observability and tooling configuration. Next up, Nathan will walk you through various Microsoft MCP servers available and how to add and manage them to your Agent 365 agents. Thanks, to here. I'm Nathan Hilgren, Principal Product Manager at Microsoft. Let's dive right into the demo. I'll continue to use VS Code and PowerShell to add Microsoft MCP servers into an agent that has the same configurations as to here's, so the agent is able to complete tasks for us. First, I'll open the tooling manifest so you can see what it looks like before I add any servers. You'll notice that it's blank. There are many new servers that have been launched along with Agent 365 to help with common tasks, such as Mail for mail management, Calendar that can schedule and update meetings, and OneDrive and SharePoint that provide access to your file stores for sharing files, providing URLs, and other file management. I'll start by adding Mail. We'll be using terminal commands for the CLI toolkit. I'll enter Agent 365-H to show the commands available to me. Now, I want to view the develop commands so I can add servers, so I'll use Agent 365 develop H. I find available servers using the Agent 365 develop list available command. A list of all servers will be shown. There are several that have been recently created. We'll start with mail tools. I copy the file name to prevent case sensitivity issues, and then enter Agent 365 develop, add MCP server, and include the server name that we copied and hit enter. The MCP server is now added to the tooling manifest. I'm going to save the manifest and then we can test it. First, we need to run the agent by entering npm run dev in the VS Code terminal. And now I'm going to switch over to PowerShell. And I'll be using the agent's playground to test the agent. You can find out more about how to install Agent Playground with the online documentation. The Playground will let us send simple messages to the server and see if it responds as expected. That way we can verify the server works before publishing it. When Agent Playground opens, first check the log panel to make sure your server is providing 200 messages indicating that the Playground is able to connect to the server. I can enter a conversational prompt to send me an email with a dad joke in it, because who doesn't like that? When we get a response, I can change over to Outlook, and as you see, the email arrived in my inbox. Now, back to Visual Studio Code, where I'm going to add two more servers to demonstrate the servers working together. First, I need to stop the agent. Now I need to get the list again to get the correct names. And this time, I'm going to add the OneDrive and SharePoint server, sometimes referred to as ODSP, and the Calendar server. I'll save the new manifest, and I'll run the agent again. I'll come back to the agent's playground and refresh it. With these servers added to the agent, I can now try to do something a little bit more complex. I'm going to first find a list of available files in the SharePoint site. A list of files are presented showing resumes. Now I will ask my agent to get a link to Ivana's resume from the HR hiring site and send it to my email address. I'll include that they need to review the resume for the meeting. And also, I ask it to schedule a half hour resume review meeting at 2 p.m. Pacific time on November 10th. This is a very complex request. In this small command, we're invoking three Microsoft MCP servers and multiple tools, including get sites, get folders, find files, share files, get URL, send mail, create meeting, and more, and include pass through contextual information. The agent says it's complete, so let's go to my inbox. You can see that the email was sent and includes a link to the document and the request to review it. Additionally, the calendar invite was created at the correct date and time and set up as a Teams meeting. These agents and their MCP servers allow you to handle many common everyday business activities without having to manually process them in the various applications they reside in. These agents and their MCP servers 
allow you to handle many common everyday business activities without having to manually process them in the various applications they reside in. Back to you, Rohit. That's awesome. Thanks, Nathan. The great thing about Microsoft MCP servers is that you can build these agents using our low-code products like Microsoft Copilot Studio and the Azure AI Foundry. These servers plug right in, giving you the building blocks to create powerful agents without complex coding. Let's do a quick demo and build an agent right now in Microsoft Copilot Studio using the new Microsoft MCP servers. I'll start by creating a new agent in Copilot Studio. And I'll call it Calendar and Email Agent. Now that the agent is created, I will click on the Tools tab and then click on the Model Context Protocol, where I can find all the new Microsoft MCP servers. Since I want my agent to handle my calendar and email scheduling operations, I will add the calendar and mail MCP servers to the agent here. I have already have an existing connection set up, but if you need to create one, you can click on the Create Connection button to create your connection. I'll go ahead and click Add and Configure to add the MCPs to my agent. Now that the MCPs are added, I'll follow the same steps to add the Outlook MCP to the same agent. Great. Now that my two MCPs are added, let me see if the agent can help me do some quick research about a project. I will ask the agent to summarize the EU GDPR policy to me, which I need to study for my upcoming project. I'm going to click Allow to allow the agent to use my MCP servers. Awesome. The agent has given me a brief summary about the GDPR policy. I'm going to ask it to send the summary to me for further reference. Here, the agent is using the new email MCP server, Microsoft email MCP server, to send the email. Great. Now that the email is sent, I want to schedule a meeting with some key people on my team to review the policy guidelines. I will also ask the agent to include the GDPR summary in the description to have an outlined agenda to schedule a team's meeting. Great. The agent confirmed the meeting creation. Let's go to Teams and verify if the meeting has been actually created. As you can see, the meeting to review the GDPR policy has been scheduled, and the agenda has also been added. You can also build agents powered by Microsoft MCP servers on Azure AI Foundry to unlock the same powerful features of Microsoft business applications. Thank you for watching, and we're really excited to see what you're going to build next.